Mark? Is everything okay? Uh, I haven't heard a peep out of you lately. I didn't want to bother you because I thought you might be busy. But I can't help but worry when I don't hear from you for months at a time. Hey mom. Sorry, I didn't have time to message you. I'm fine. Is work as manic as ever? Mom, it has its moments, I guess. Same old, same old. You mean, you're not busy with work? I was sure you hadn't been in touch because you were swamped with things at the office. I am hardly lounging around the house all day, but not exactly being overworked either. I guess I'm somewhere in the middle. Sorry if I worried you. Is everything okay? You don't seem yourself. I don't? Are you feeling under the weather, sweetie? Have you been eating properly? If you don't feel well, you need to go to the doctor ASAP. You only just got married. Falling ill is the last thing you need. I'm not ill. I'm just stressing out over something. I think I might be depressed. Depressed? Oh dear, you poor boy, what happened? Mom, what do you think about Alice? Be honest. What do you mean? What kind of person do you think she is? I think she seems like a very mature, sensible girl. A little shy and reserved, perhaps, but it's not like that's a bad thing. Oh, and of course, she's gorgeous. Why do you ask? I used to think so, too. But it's like she's turned into a different person as soon as we got married. Really? How exactly do you mean? Her temper is so short, she blows a fuse at the slightest hint of trouble. She started being crazy rude to me all the time for no apparent reason. Don't even get me started on how irresponsible she is with money. It doesn't end there. She literally never lifts a finger around the house despite supposedly being a stay-at-home housewife. Wow. Are you being serious? Is this really Alice we're talking about? I can't believe it. She seemed like such a good girl. You and me both. I feel like a character in a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde movie. She treats me like a living slave. Or she goes out merrymaking with her buddies and spends my money like it grows on trees. She blows it all on frivolous junk like makeup, branded bags, accessories, clothes, all stuff that's way out of our price range. It's like she thinks I'm a freaking millionaire. If I don't keep up with the housework, she starts yelling and berates me like a kid who just wet the bed. Last night, it was because I forgot to put the mop back in the storage cupboard. I'm at my mental and physical limit. I don't know how much more I can take. What on earth happened to make her start acting like this? You mean, you're doing all the housework on top and working full time? You mustn't even have time to sleep. Right. I'm more sleep deprived now than I ever thought was possible. That doesn't stop Alice sleeping past noon though. Some days, she doesn't even get out of bed. All she does is stare at her damn phone, making dumb posts on Peepgram with her friends. Oh, goodness me, Mark. I can't believe what I'm hearing. This is horrible. Are you, perhaps, reconsidering things? Perhaps she isn't the one for you after all. Surely this must have given you a pause for thought. It's still early days. You wouldn't be the first couple to call it a day before the honeymoon period had worn off, you know? I think she's just taking me for granted. She doesn't mean it deep down. I'm not sure she could cope without me. Honestly, I think she'd be lost on her own. Besides, it's not like she's the only one in the wrong. There are times when I don't keep on top of the housework to the standard she expects, so it's not like she shouts at me for no reason. She just praises me occasionally when I do a good job, and in those moments, it's like she's back to her sweet old self again. Oh my god. Mark, you have to stop this. Stop what? I saw a TV documentary on domestic violence once. The victim was speaking about their abuser exactly like you're speaking about Alice right now. They call it codependence. Codependence? In any case... It's obvious that this isn't a healthy relationship we're dealing with here. You'll have a nervous breakdown at this rate. I'm worried about you. A nervous breakdown? Jeez, Mom, don't be dramatic. I'm a big boy. I can take a little stress here and there. It's fine. Sorry if I worried you. 
Maybe I should have just kept this to myself. It's really fine, I promise. Not at all. I'm glad you told me. I want you to promise you'll keep me updated. Never hold anything back from your mother, okay? You can't keep everything bottled up all the time. Letting all that tension build up inside you will be the end of you. When something's bothering you, it's important to get it off your chest. I want you to remember you're free to walk away at any point. No one's forcing you to stay married. It takes two to tango. I'll support you in whatever you do. Things are really fine for now. Really, Mom. I'm just a little tired is all. I'll probably feel silly for telling you all this after a good night's sleep. Yeah, that said, I can't deny it bugs me how it feels like the more I work, the less money I have. Are things rough financially? Rough would be an understatement. Every day is a struggle. We're on the breadline. There are some days I can't even eat dinner because we have that little money. Good God, Mark. Are you joking me? You're bound to feel ill if you don't eat properly. You're right. Listen, Mom, I hate to ask you this, but do you think you could lend me some cash? We're barely keeping up with the bills, let alone food. <sighs> of course I will, sweetie. Uh, how much do you need? Would $2,500 be pushing my luck? That much? We have so many bills to pay. We're in arrears on the electric, too. Let's say for, like, one more month, they'll turn the lights out. I'm so sorry, Mom. I feel awful asking you for money. I see. I'll send it to your bank account before the end of the day. And forget all this nonsense about lending. You can have it. Just make sure Alice doesn't find out about any of this, okay? Get all of your bills paid and then eat a proper meal. That's an order from your mother. Thanks, Mom. I will. I can't say how grateful I am for this. The only time I get a chance to eat lately is during lunch break at the office on weekdays. I can't tell you how happy I am. I'm finally going to be able to eat something I enjoy for the first time in months thanks to you. Mark, would you like to meet me to have a little word with Alice? No matter which way you look at it, the situation is toxic and we can't let it continue. No, Mom. Please don't say anything to her. I'll talk to her myself. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want her getting angry with me again. Please, you're right though. We can't go on like this. We need to have a serious discussion about our relationship. It's hard to imagine us having a future together if something doesn't change. I think I feel brave enough to raise the issue with her after speaking with you. Well, I'm pleased I could be useful, son, but... If things get worse, or it seems like they might get worse, I want you to come and speak to me right away. You're my son, and there's nothing you can't tell me. I let your dad know too. I don't mind if you tell him, but will you tell him not to worry? That goes for you too. We are your parents, Mark. You can't drop a bombshell like this on us and expect us to carry on like nothing happened. Make sure things don't get too heated. I don't want to hear about anyone getting injured. Be careful. It's okay. I won't do anything rash. Just a nice, peaceful discussion between adults. Mom, I'm sorry. I did my best, but I think I made things worse. What happened, dear? Didn't the discussion with Alice go well? It didn't just not go well. She totally flipped out on me. Our house was like an episode of Jerry Springer last night. She started flailing around like an escaped mental patient, calling me every name under the sun while frothing at the mouth and throwing things at me. The place looks like a tornado hit it. Oh my god, are you hurt? I bled a little when she launched her remote control across the room and it caught me square on the forehead. But I'm fine. Other than that, it's nothing though, mom. I swear. I got worse injuries playing soccer as a kid. This is nothing compared to the time my head got cracked open when she pushed me down a flight of stairs. What? What in God's name am I hearing here? I got some stitches at the hospital and I'm fully recovered now. Chill, mom. It's not a big deal. It was my fault for talking back to her. 
If I'd just done what I was told, it never would have happened. She just got her own back on me for my bad attitude is all. We're even now. <laughs> you call being hospitalized up for being pushed down a flight of stairs getting even? No matter what you said to her, no matter what you did or didn't do, nothing justifies violence. She's the aggressor here, and she's 100% in the wrong. Why do you insist on covering for her like this? It's like you've been brainwashed. What happened to the mark I knew? Mom, please. You have to understand, she's not doing this out of malice. I think maybe she's just letting her selfishness get the better of her. Yes, yes. You made a similar excuse for her psychotic behavior last night too. What was it again? That she was taking you for granted? I think she's super stressed out. Think about it. I landed my new job in the same week we got married, and we had to move to Wyoming basically straight away. She has zero friends here, and her neighborhood isn't exactly lively. She's probably just lonely and doesn't know how else to vent her frustrations. She made a lot of sacrifices for me. Being patient with her while she adapts to her new life is the least I can do. Growing pains, that's all this is. Pushing you down a flight of stairs is growing pains? Throwing a remote control at your head is growing pains? Please, Mark. Won't you listen to me? Stop justifying her behavior. This is abuse, plain and simple. No matter how many sacrifices she's made, nothing justifies violence. And blindly covering for her like this isn't doing her any favors, you know. She has a problem and she needs help. I know that but there's no getting through to her. I've tried talking, but I'm wasting my breath. It just fans the flames. Right. There's nothing else for it then. I shall speak to her myself. Surely you see there's no other way now. I'm grateful you want to help me, Mom. Really, I am. But it'll only make her worse. You don't have to deal with the fallout if she gets pissed off, but I have to live in the same house as her. I'm scared she'll take revenge on me. There's no telling what she might do next. Is Alice really that dangerous? I actually told her about the conversation me and you had yesterday. I said I had to chat with you and it made me realize there are some things the two of us needed to discuss. That's when she saw Red and started throwing stuff across the room. She was like a demon. When she calmed down, she said, I have to cut my pain in the backside parents out of my life. Pain in the backside? Sorry, Mom. There's no telling what she might do next. She's mad with you now, too, because of how clumsily I approached the whole thing. Just like she says, I can't do anything right. I don't think it'll take much more for her to go completely off the deep end. Last night was the angriest I've ever seen her. I think things just got serious, Mom. Please, you have to be careful. Don't do anything that might upset her. She could do something dangerous. She's already dangerous. What are we supposed to do? Wait until she kills you? I'm terrified for you, Mark. Who's to say that you'll get off with just a scratch on your head next time? She won't do anything if we don't provoke her. And mom, she told me I'm not allowed to speak to you anymore. Which means in the spirit of not provoking her, I have to keep my distance from you now. I'm so sorry about this, but I just know she'll calm down if I do what she says. Maybe we can start speaking again when she chills out a little. Please, Mom. I'm begging you here. Please understand. When you say, keep your distance, how long? Until she calms down. And when will that be? Don't worry, Mom. I know she'll ease up if I just do what she says. She'll probably even forget she was mad at you as well. And we can all go back to normal. I'm gonna keep my head down and stay on top of the housework for a while. I'll be in touch again when she shows signs of improving, so please just hang on for a while, okay? Us messaging like this only makes her angrier. Alice knows we're messaging each other. Yeah, but don't worry. She gave me permission to talk to you today, but I don't think she'll be so lenient going forward. I only got the go-ahead this time because I agreed to break things off with you. She said she's going to be doing nightly checks on my phone from now on, until I can prove I can be trusted. Oh, good God, Mark, she's like a dictator! Maybe so. Alice makes her rules in this household. Look, Mom, 
The bottom line here is, I need you to stop messaging me for a while. I'll be in big trouble if you don't. Mark, divorce your wife. This is domestic violence. Mom, please. She has a good side too. Don't even say things like that. She's not the reason you're getting a divorce. You're the problem here. I know you know what I mean. Me? Did I do something wrong? Whoa there, Mom. Just hang on a sec. You do know how horribly Alice has been treating me all this time, don't you? Do not play dumb with me, boy. I know it was all lies. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. You mean you had no intention of admitting it. I was hoping we could resolve this without me having to resort to extreme measures, but if you insist on playing dumb, then you leave me with no choice. Playing dumb? I don't know what you mean. I went to your house. Why? I told you not to do anything that might upset Alice. Damn it! Mom! Because I was ready to drag you back to my house kicking and screaming, if I had to. I was obviously worried sick after you told me all those lies about what she was doing to you. What did you expect? Your car wasn't in the drive when I arrived and I had no intention of meeting Alice at that point. So I waited near the house for you to come home. Huh? When exactly was this? Yesterday evening. I waited outside the house between 5 to 7 p.m. Then Alice came out. She was taking out trash. My jaw almost hit the floor when I saw her. Um, why? Because she looked terrible. I've never seen someone so run down. I barely recognized her. She was gaunt and emaciated. She must have been at least 10 kilograms lighter than when I last saw her. Her arms were covered in bruises and her eyes were so hollow. It was like I was looking at a real-life zombie. Alice is the one being treated horribly. Isn't she? N no She agreed to show me her phone. I felt sick when I saw your message history. You are the one controlling her all along. You banned her from going out and seeing her friends, you checked her phone every night, and if that wasn't bad enough, you hit her if the housework wasn't done perfectly. You spoke to Alice? Are you at my place now? I took her to the hospital. Then I took her back to her parents' house where she could finally be safe. Her parents' house? I know all about how you talked her parents into keeping their distance from you both. You isolated her from her only family so they wouldn't find out about you and your evil campaign of abuse against their poor daughter. I have to admit, you're a good actor. You had to well and truly pull over my eyes. You even pretended to cover her for her supposed abuse against you, to make me think she had you under some kind of spell. What do you plan on doing with Alice? Give her back, she's my wife. I don't plan on doing anything with her. You may not be aware of this, but she's an independent human being with a will of her own and she wants a divorce. Her family is furious. I had to stop her dad driving over and kicking your ass. I have never seen him so livid. She's staying with her parents for now. As for me, I'll be driving home and telling her father. We owe her parents a formal apology. Why are you guys deciding everything by yourselves without asking me what I want? She's my wife, and I'm the man of this household. You lost your right to say when you viciously abused her. That poor girl. You're getting a divorce, and that's final. Mom, you have to do something to stop this. Alice's big bro knocked down my door. When I opened it, he forced his way in and lifted me off the floor by the scruff of my neck. Then he started screaming in my face about how I abused his sister. I see. Her brother's a fisherman, right? He's built like a tank, at least twice the size of me. He had the most murderous look on his face. I thought he was actually going to kill me. It was more like a demon than a human being. What did you expect? Anyone would turn into a demon if someone treated their sister like that. Are you listening to me, Mom? I said he lifted me up by the scruff of my neck. You can't just go around doing stuff like that. He's crazy. He needs to be in a psych ward. No way is he a fisherman. How could a barbarian like that hold down a respectable job? You sure he isn't an escaped convict? After all the horrible things you did to his sister, you're lucky. All he did to you was lift you up by the scruff of your neck. People have been killed for less. You're such a vile, despicable waste of space, of a human being. 
I wish I had roughed you up some more. You got off easy. Mom, what the hell? Don't say that. I'm your son. Did he say anything else? What about the compensation? Yeah, compensation was mentioned. He said I was gonna owe her tens of thousands of dollars, and if I didn't pay, he threatened to pound my skull in until I had no teeth left. Good. It's time to take responsibility for your actions. The doctors gave us medical certificates, listing all of Alice's injuries when I took her to the hospital. Between that and the chat logs, we have more than enough evidence for the court case. You're not worming out of this one, boy. Jesus Christ! Alice has taken me to court? Has she lost her mind? And you, Mom? What's gotten into you? It's like you're completely on her side. I'm your son. You deserve to pay compensation for all the pain and suffering you caused that poor girl. You'll also be giving me back every last cent of the money you tricked me into giving you. I talk about things with your father. What did Dad say? That piece of trash ain't no son of mine anymore. He deserves everything that's coming to him. You're on your own now. You made your bed. Now lie in it. What the? You and Dad are abandoning your own son? Not only did you subject your poor wife to a malicious campaign of physical and psychological abuse, but you tricked me and your dad into thinking you were the victim. Um, well, that was just... Shut your mouth! I don't want to hear it. I'm sure that even if she did end up reaching the breaking point and divorcing you before we found out, you would have painted her as the aggressor and pinned the reason for the divorce on her. You would have turned everyone against her and driven further down into the depths of despair. You use social media, right? I have a few accounts. Why? I saw the posts on your peep gram page listing all the things you did to Alice. When Alice divorces this monster and he tries painting her as the aggressor, don't believe a word out of it. He's a twisted psycho and needs a locking up. What? It says that on my page? Since when? What the hell, mom? Were you too distracted by our chats to notice? Who the hell posted that? Your sister. Isn't she clever? I could never begin to understand all this social media business, but I have to admit I was impressed by her quick thinking. Kelly did this? So basically, my whole family is ganging up on me to ruin my life. Correction. Your whole family is furious with you for what you did to that poor girl. Your friends and co-workers can see your peep gram page, right? They'll all be on their lunch breaks now. Oh, I wonder how many people already know what a sicko you are. Oh my god, my phone is blowing up with messages. Who from? The people who saw that slanderous crap on my peep gram page, duh. What the hell have you done? Make her take it down now. If these posts stay up, my life is over. Ugh, my life might already be over. You lied and deceived your own family, Mark. If we don't cover ourselves now, before everything blows up, who's to say what you might do next? You're clearly a very sick man with no regard for anyone but yourself. We did it to protect Alice, too. You made it abundantly clear what she means to you. What's destroying her reputation compared to the hell you've already put her through in that house? You'd paint her as the monster to save her own skin in a heartbeat, and you wouldn't lose a week of sleep over it. No way! I'd never do that! Don't be ridiculous! Of course you would! We don't even recognize you anymore, Mark. I shudder to think what else you might be capable of. If my life gets ruined over this, it's all your fault! We've already resigned ourselves to what lies ahead for you. The only one who tried to ruin anyone's life was you. It's my job as your mother to read you your last rites. After that, my husband and I ordered Mark to come over to our house. Everyone from both families rushed over and a meeting was convened. Alice's big brother immediately sprang out of his chair and started yelling at him in a blaze of righteous fury. Mark shrunk into a crumpled heap on the floor and cried his eyes out like a baby. We extracted both Alice's compensation and the money he tricked out of me without the matter going to court. The post on his social media led to the story breaking out to the local press. After the internet pitchfork mob kicked things into a higher gear, and he had no choice but to delete his accounts and go into hiding. However, the complete and utter destruction of his reputation isn't something that will ever go away. There's not a soul in the world who trusts or respects my son now. 
After a very brief discussion with my husband, we decided to break off all contact with him. I can only assume he must have felt like we betrayed him because he never tried to contact us again. Mark has two younger sisters, but neither of them want anything to do with him either. He's universally despised and only has himself to blame. It felt like my son died when I found out what he'd been doing. I can't help but feel a tinge of sadness, but I realize I didn't lose anything. I just got to know the real him. I don't regret the thing about how things played out in the end. Apparently, Alice is back to her old self now after being away from her abuser for a while. She's back to being the bright, cheerful young lady I once knew. As her parents told me, she married a childhood friend from her hometown a few years after the Mark saga. Well, I hope she finds true happiness this time.